Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So we have my client here. I'm just gonna kind of tilt it slightly so y'all can see this long hair. Like this is all her hair. Katie, why you think I'm so surprised? I'm like this is all her hair, y'all. And she's natural, which is very refreshing. So she came in today to get a silk press. Um, and we're also going to do a minty treatment to her scalp using our minty scalp ale serum. And then we're going to trim her, of course, after the fact, get her washed and all that good stuff. So you guys get to see the entire process of how we are able to manage long hair to make her job a little bit easier. We're also going to do a hydration treatment on her. And it's her birthday weekend. There's so much going on, you guys. <laughs> so you guys get to see from start to finish, right? Right. All right. So her hair is right now, it's dry. Um, I'm going to go through with a wide tooth comb, which she's already detangled it. But I'm just going to comb through it just in case just to get the process started. When you're dealing with long hair, you guys, it's kind of best to take things in sections. That is the easiest way to go. Outside of that, you know, detangling before you start shampooing is also going to help you throughout this process, okay? It said happy birthday, queen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use our Elite Soothe Me Scalp Ale Serum. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit close just so you can see her scalp area and you'll see exactly what I'm doing. So if you guys can see in here, took this way for me, she has some buildup or congestion is what we call it of the scalp. So I'm going to do a minty treatment on her first and help get a lot of this buildup off so that we can prepare her for her shampoo process. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put the serum on her hair or on her scalp more say, not even her hair. If you feel it running, let me know, okay? Okay. So the way the scalp L serum works, you put it on the hair when it's dry, apply it to the areas where you have the trouble. Now with her hair, I'm noticing that it's almost throughout the entirety of her scalp. So I'm going to just place it about an inch apart and rub it in just so that cleansing action can start in regards to the scalp as we go through. So the scalp ale serum also contains zinc, which is really, really good for those of you that have congestion of the scalp or what we call dandruff or buildup. Congestion is just a better word. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just part her hair in half. I'm gonna move you guys back so you guys can see. Turn this way for me. And then all you do is take your fingers and massage it into the scalp. Now, because her buildup is a little bit more cakey, I'm gonna go through with my comb just to help lift that buildup off of the scalp, but I'm not going to scratch the scalp. What I'm doing right now is just distributing the serum throughout her scalp level. If you notice, I'm not dragging it through her hair. It's not required for the hair. It's really for the scalp and the scalp only. So we're going to take our comb, part the hair, and just go through and gently lift up any buildup that she has at the scalp level. The worst thing you can do is drag your comb like this. That creates abrasions on the scalp. It also makes the scalp very sore. I do that a lot. Mm -hmm. And be nice and sore when mm -hmm. you're done. Starts bleeding. Different, yep. different things happen. Yep. Hello. Hi. Oh, uh, yeah, I just haven't had a chance to apply. I'm at work right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take care of it today. 
Thank you. Bye bye. Tilt this way for me. So she has a little bit here that we didn't get into. So I'm going to put a little more serum. Okay, over here looks good. So we're going to flip to the other side. Same thing here. All you want to do is just lift it off the scalp, okay? With it being in the hair, it will come out during the shampoo process. But it's really at the scalp level that you want to make sure that you lift off any type of dandruff or dry scalp. It is going to make your wash day so much easier. Good morning. Right. So we are going to go ahead and get her into the shampoo bowl. They said this lady has beautiful hair. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm gonna have you slide down. Well, actually, let me tilt the hair back. All right, then you'll slide down for me, and then your neck will slide into the bowl. All right. So let me bring you guys over. Tilt you down. All her hair is in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with her hair outside of the sink and start with the dry shampoo process where we're just going to use, and I put conditioner. What am I thinking? Let the water warm up really quickly. We'll take our dry shampoo and just distribute it throughout her hair. This is going to allow us to get all the excess oil off of her scalp that we just placed on. So we don't need the oil to stay there. We're using the oil to treat the problem and then we're going to extract as much of the oil as we need to. So I'm applying it to her hair while her hair is dry. This is another reason why I say use just a really cheap shampoo um, at this phase because you want to make sure you don't you're going to use a lot so you don't need an expensive shampoo to get the oil out you just need something that's going to cleanse and just get it off all right so water's going to be cool which is not our best friend <laughs> but cool water extracts oil better than warm So we're going to use our minty shampoo. Okay, so the minty shampoo from the minty collection. This is going to help to aid that scalp issue that we have going on here. And it's also going to help clean the scalp at the same time while creating a really soothing feeling 
and taking away any itch that she might have, because I'm sure with the interview, you got a big itch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> If everybody could go and hit that thumbs up button for me. So I'm giving you guys some good action here. So I would appreciate the thumbs up. So all you have to do is close your chat and go hit that thumbs up button. And then you want to make sure that you get right under that occipital bone. A little hump here because that's typically where the dirt likes to hide. So we're gonna switch over to warm water. All right, so for her second shampoo, I'm gonna create what we call a cocktail shampoo. The cocktail shampoo will be Moisture ELT and the Minty shampoo together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my hand first. Mix it up really, really well because what I wanna do is create an equal balance of moisture and scalp treatment. But if you don't mix them together, it's almost like you're putting one on top of the other. Okay, and then I rub it up together. Thank you, Simon says. mostly right here mm -hmm. make sure your scalp is nice and clean which it is all right and then we're going to start our rinse process
make sure we rinse out thoroughly. All right, so we are going to do a hydration treatment. Well, let's check her scalp out first. Tilt up for me. If you guys can see, her scalp is nice and clean. Yes, nice and clean. No more buildup. All right, come on back for me. Tilt, tilt back, tilt back. Yep, you're good. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get our hydration treatment ready. So we're gonna be using the hydration handheld machine. So I'm going to fill it up a little bit more than normal because she has longer hair and I wanna be able to get to all of her hair. So once you fill up the water container, put it back on. If you guys haven't seen this before, this is our newest tool that is a part of Elite Hair Care line. Um, this tool is actually available for pre-sale until, and they don't ship until November, but we're going to get it started. So that needs to heat up. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is create another cocktail for her. And the cocktail is going to have our minty conditioner, which we're going to use a good amount because she has long hair. And also our Moisture ELT conditioner. Okay. So once again, a scalp and moisture combo. So we're going to mix it together. When you guys create cocktails, I always tell you to make sure, make sure that you mix your conditioners before you start using them. Okay. So we're going to put it all over her hair. Lift that hair up. Get it all over the scalp as well. So the hydration needs to be done at the hair level, not at the scalp. So you really want to make sure that all of the free hair has conditioner on it. Of course, it's going to distribute anyway. So you just want to make sure that you get it on everywhere. All right. Let me wash my hands off so I can hold the machine well enough. I feel it tingling. It's tingling? Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Is it bad? No, it's really nice. Really nice. Mm -hmm. See? I can probably have like spokeswomen in my chair. <laughs> 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 okay. Let's go ahead and get this baby started. So how you use it, you fill it with water. Distilled water is the best. Turn on your power button. Lifting her hair up. Is it warm? Mm -hmm. All right. And basically, we'll do this until the water has come out or finished out in the container. Because she has longer hair, I did do it three fourths of the way. If your hair is shorter, of course, you can do it in a in a um, about half to a quarter of the way of water. And then you want to make sure that you get these ends. That's very important. The ends of the hair is where typically you have the most dryness. Get up under that nape. 
So you no longer have to have this huge hydration machine at home. Come on back for me. And then when you're done, you just unplug it, pour out any excess water that you didn't use, and then put it away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to really get these ends in there. So the good thing is you can actually set it down like how I did and get this treatment done. So the water is almost done. All right, so we're just gonna go through, detangle her at the ends. Well, you know what, I'm gonna have you sit up for me. <laughs> Let me back you guys up some. You guys can see her full length. Can you turn your head for me? That's her length, you guys. All right, let me sit you up. You can sit back for me. And then we're just gonna detangle her in sections, okay? That's the most important part, sections. Let's see what. So you start by starting on the ends and then you work your way up. I'm going to put the towel on the floor because her hair is moist. You just do little pieces at a time. Section one. You okay, Mama? And if you guys notice, I'll go a little bit and go back through the ends and then work my way up. Don't try to pull through a little tangle. Just kind of rake slightly, go back up. You'll notice how much easier it gets as you do that. So I'm not going to take any hair off the comb because I want you guys to see how much hair comes off. 
to see that, guess what guys? Even just detangling her with a comb, it doesn't mean that you, you have to be so rough. You have to, oh, she's taking all her hair out because I know a lot of you say that when we're detangling. Why are you being so rough? Well, if we were rough, she'd have a lot of hair loss. Am I hurting you? Mm -mm. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the type of hair to have and be tender headed. Oh, I'll no, tell you that no. much. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have just this little section left here, so I can just go through this section in its entirety. How's your scalp? It still feels good. Yeah. Last little piece. All right. So out of all that hair, let me take it off the comb. I don't want to leave anything. This is what came out. That's it. Okay. So. We detangled with a comb right after using the hydration machine, and that is all that came out, you guys, out of all of this hair. So that's really good. And then our little strainer, no, nothing. Okay, my love, I'm gonna have you lean forward for me. And come on back. So at this point, now that we've detangled her, you're gonna use cool water again. But you're gonna make sure that you do not disturb the hair, okay? You're gonna rinse it in one direction. You're not gonna keep scrunching the hair. You're gonna gently lift the hair up so that you can keep it detangled. the hair and squeeze out any excess product you do not leave conditioner in the hair you guys if it's not a leave-in conditioner do not leave it in the hair especially if you plan on blow drying your hair So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out the excess water. All right, slightly tilt up for me. I'm gonna use a little bit of our silky leave-in conditioner spray and just kind of move the hair around. I'm just going to part it into four because that's how I'm going to blow dry her. And you always detangle as you go, guys. That's very important. Even though you detangled during the conditioning phase, you still want to go back through with your comb when it's time for you to dry. So all I'm going to do is rope twist her really loosely. Down 
uh, just a little bit for me. Let me get the hair back here. Nope, you're fine. You're good now. And we're gonna go ahead and comb through this part. Okay, and then we're gonna make our way to the other side. Same thing, split it in half. And then the last section, it should be really easy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is get two clips. So that her hair can it up while we slightly air grab it. So what we're going to do is you take these two, clip it here, take these two, clip it here. This is just to kind of help us with the dry process. She's not going to dry 100%, you guys. That's not going to be possible under the dryer under the dryer but this is going to help us get some of that excess water out so that we can blow dry her the rest of the way let us sit over there for me mama all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to turn you guys towards me we'll do some q a because i know you guys have tons of questions wow she kind of air dries so there's 400 people on here. If I could get everybody to go and close out your chat and thumbs up this live for me, that would be great. Let's see here. Are your products, are the products you are using good after taking out braids? Absolutely, Kelly. Absolutely. It's going to help soothe the scalp. It's also going to help clean up any type of um, dirt or buildup that you have on the hair from having it, um, excuse me, from having it up for so long. Let's see. Sorry, I have to pick up my towel. That handheld steamer is everything. Yes, baby, it is. <laughs> I saw a chat replay before where someone asked if they could use their clothes steamer. I just want to say no, ma'am. <laughs> you guys are funny. What's the difference? I use mine. Uh, one is handheld. One isn't. The clothes steamer, it doesn't push out. That's the only difference with the clothes steamer. Clothes steamers don't push out steam. It just kind of just sits there. So you're going to work a lot harder. And then when this one sprays, it actually, you can feel the water. You can feel the particles of water that's being sprayed. And it's nice and warm. Beautiful hair. And yeah, the clothes steamer gets extremely hot. I have one at home. My boys have hair like that. Wash days are long. Thanks for the tip about dealing with the hair outside the sink. Thank you. To the detangling from the bottom gently, that's how I do mine. Yes. I keep saying it, but her curl pattern is awesome. Strong, healthy hair, too. She has beautiful hair. Absolutely. I had brawling hair for a few years. 
stylus bleach with 40 volume without Olaplex. Now hair should length. Hair now should length is rice water method of good regrowing hair quickly. I don't use rice water. That's dirty water. I don't use rice water. What is she having done to her hair? She's going to get a silk press and a trim. Currently natural and considering a text lax. Nice. I believe people have forgotten how to play the Simon game. <laughs> you show her the appreciation by smashing the thumbs up, ladies. Absolutely. Showing me, like you guys liking my videos, that tells me that I'm on the right track. Good morning, Crystal. I really need that hydration tool because my hair is so dry and I live in Colorado. Danielle, uh, I want to say the machines are still available. We did another 25 for pre-sale. So... I'm going to tell you guys. Sorry, I'm texting. I shouldn't be texting and talking, should I? I'm texting and talking. It's about to die. Hold on, you guys. I don't want you guys to go anywhere. So let me plug you in. There you go. there we go melissa she's the only beautician that i see sharing to the extent that crystal does thank you already done thank you i love that you take your time you're a knowledgeable patient but you do work fast thank you what was the serum that was put on the scalp at the beginning that is the soothe me scalp ale serum from our minty collection soothe me scalp ale serum Your advice changed my life a lot. Thank you. You've lost weight? No, I need to lose some more. I've been doing my sea moss though. That much I have been doing. So we have 10 steamers still available. Good morning. Did you use the steamer while the conditioner was on the hair? Yes. So the steamer replaces going under the dryer with a conditioner and cap? No. The steamer replaced doing a hydration treatment with this huge machine that you guys see over here. So I'm going to show you guys the machine I'm talking about, okay? If you guys look over here in the corner, right next to where you see my light on the wall, you see this big bowl looking thing. That is a hydration machine. If you notice, it takes up quite a lot of space. So that's another reason why the handheld steamer made more sense because it doesn't take up space. You can plug it up, use it, unplug it, put it away. You can bring it wherever you want with you. You can fit it in your suitcase. You can't fit that hair steamer anywhere. It sits there. And it's actually one of the most aggravating tools that I have because it is, only serves one purpose. It serves one purpose and one purpose only. And I can't take it anywhere with me, so that's why the handheld made more sense. Uh, you can get a whole hair and facial treatment with that steamer, absolutely. Hi, Houston. Is she a regular customer? Nope, this is her first time. She is from, where are you from? Georgia. Georgia, but she drove from? Uh, no, South, I live in South Carolina. She lives in South Carolina, from Georgia. but she's from Georgia. And she sounds like she's from Louisiana, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so she was already headed this way. She booked an appointment and she wanted to get her hair done for her birthday, so she's here. Um, I'm trying to go back. Hold on. 
how do you know if you need to use a cocktail on your hair or the steamer so the cocktail is basically mixing a shampoo together or a conditioner together I didn't want to just treat her scalp with the minty collection I wanted to treat her scalp help with the buildup and also add moisture to her hair that is why I combined moisture ELT which is our high or intense moisturizing conditioner and intense moisturizing shampoo along with the minty shampoo and minty conditioner because that was going to help take care of the scalp issue i appreciate her so much today i just wanted to let her know and shout it out thank you simon says my hair is in need of a color can i use beets or something until i launch until you launch a diet i do not i've never tried beets and stuff i know some people use turmeric but i've never tried it can't get my natural hair to grow past a certain length. What should I do? I probably, I'm not sure. Wait, you might need to book a consultation to see what's going on. Please ask your client how long it took her to grow her hair that length. I've never cut it. She's never cut it. That's her entire, how long are you? I'll be 30. She'll be 30. So that's 30 years worth of hair. 30 years, never cut her hair. Have you trimmed it before? Occasionally. She's trimmed it occasionally. And she trusted me to trim her, y'all. Listen, <laughs> listen, okay. Which one of your products is good for curly wash and go? Our Define Me Curl Cream is your best friend paired with the um, either IMS or the Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum. Define Me Curl Cream. Finally get to see a live. Also someone with extra long hair. Yeah, because you guys say I cut everybody's hair off. So that's refreshing. That's why we have to hit the thumbs up to keep her with us. Thank you guys. I wanted to know as well about her hair length. Love the dry shampoo tip. Thank you. Sell it to me. <laughs> Sell what to you, Carvella? Post the steam treatment. What products would you use to wear it curly rather than continuing with a silk press? The Define Me Curl Cream, cocktail or mixed with the Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum. That's the, uh, the one I sit under at the salon, so I need the handheld one like a mug. Abs I can't wait to put this machine in the garbage. I'm trying not to, but it is time. The, hand the, one, the handheld has, has restored life for me. I can do a handheld treatment in five minutes where when you're sitting under that because the steam isn't hitting hard enough and it's not getting all the way in, you have to sit in there for 15 to 20 minutes. Where I can do a whole treatment in five minutes. I'm on live, mommy. I gotta call you back. It's my mother. Can elixir and serum be used together? Um, they're one, they're, they're almost one in the same, except the elixir doesn't have CBD in it. So I would just use one, finish it out, then use the other. The one that has the CBD is typically the, um, not typically, but of course, the super regrowth or the goddess serum. What shampoo did you use on her hair? I used a cocktail of the minty shampoo and the moisture ELT shampoo. And then minty conditioner and moisture ELT conditioner combined at that time. Everybody's telling you happy birthday from Baltimore. Happy birthday from all these places. She said, thank you. What was your reaction when she walked in with so much hair? So let's talk about that. She did not walk in with so much hair. She walked in with a bun. And as I go to take out the bun, and I untwist it, I start noticing that a lot is falling with me. Like, it's like a Rapunzel rope falling <laughs> into the ball. And I'm like, yeah, I know she got turned away from a lot of salons with this hair. <laughs> I'm used to it, so it's not a big deal for me. But I know a lot of stylists will not, will not. They told you no? Mm -hmm. A lot of stylists won't mess with her hair. It's too long. But for me, I'm used to it, so I'm, I'm good. Uh, let's see. How did the client hear about you? My videos. Am I having a Black Friday sale? Absolutely. 60% off everything, excluding the handheld hydration machine. That hydration machine, the big one. Girl, you don't want nothing. I would like to purchase my own steaming steamer. Where are you located? You can actually purchase it during pre-sale online by going to EliteHairCareUSA.com and using code STEAMER20. That will give you 20% off the steamer. STEAMER20 is the code, and it will give you 20% off the steamer. 
Let me make sure that the code is actually still still right. Yep, it's good until set. It's good until. Actually, it's good until all of the pre-sale ones are gone. A Rapunzel rope, actually, that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> Ash is good. Can you color your edges if you're trying to grow them back? Uh, depends on what color you're using. I'm not really doing Q&A, you guys. So if anything, all the questions are typically about what I'm doing right now. Shout out from South Africa. Hey, South Africa. Uh, I have low porosity hair and I've never used a protein treatment before. So I was wondering when should I use it? Once a month or two times a month? You only use it when you need it. If anybody can put that terminology that I use, how we use protein, that is going to definitely answer your questions, DB. The fact that you were so gentle with her hair, working your way so not to tear out her hair is very considerate to her as a client. I wish it was more like you. Where are you located? I'm in Orlando, Florida. You guys are not joking about these things. Okay. When is it necessary to use a protein treatment? Somebody's going to answer you in just a moment, DB. Can I use a 40% off coupon? Can a 40% off coupon be used on the team? No coupons will work on our tools. We don't do tools. The only time you'll get a coupon is if I give an actual coupon for the tool, which I do have one now. The coupon code gives you 20% off, and it's steamer20. Steamer20. Her videos, thank you. How do you know what porosity your hair is? You need to do a porosity test. Are you taking appointments for November and December? LM, I am already booked up through the end of November. December will open up sometime this month in the mid-October. So I'm already booked up through to November, whatever the last day of November is, I'm booked up. I have nothing open at all. When is it necessary to use protein treatment? I think I a protein treatment, a outing, a band-aid on a boo-boo. Absolutely. Thank you, Cynthia. You do not wear a band-aid every day. You do it every week. You do not have a time frame when you wear a band-aid. You wear it when you have a boo-boo. The boo-boo for you would be your hair is shedding. Your hair is breaking. Your hair is damaged. It's thinning. So you need to put a band-aid on it, which would be the protein treatment. You put it on. Do what you need to do. Stop until you have another boo-boo. That's how it works. Protein treatment should be used occasionally. Absolutely, Carvella. Thanks for enabling me to achieve a full head of hair. When would you have the dye? We are still working on the dye. That's a big project. Can I use a blow dryer when using a protein treatment? I wouldn't. Absolutely, Cynthia. Thank you. All right, you guys. So we are going to go ahead and start the blow dry process. For my client here because blow drying will take just a little bit of time just a little bit all right so let me get to get myself together you can slide on over into my chair all right so I'm going to slide you guys out so you can see a little bit better as to what we are doing because of her length. And I'm definitely going to use my baby list for her hair. Do you want it bone straight or do you want like a loose curl? Um, I like a loose curl. Gotcha. All right, so we're going to start with the blow dry process. How we're going to do this is the tension method first, and then we'll go through. Hold on, let me clean my blow dryer off. And then we'll go through and So with the tension method, grab the 
hair. Okay, take our brush, start at the ends and work our way up. I'm back. Sorry, my phone died. trying to do the Instagram one, but I haven't been live on Instagram in decades. Oh, wow. <laughs> Listen, Instagram is okay. It's all right. YouTube is better. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so let's turn this around. I don't even remember how to use my Instagram, but we're going to use it anyway. Alright, let's turn this around. You have your phone? Mm -hmm. Can you see if I'm live? <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> Anybody understand um, Instagram live? Because uh, maybe I do not. Okay. I think I'm doing it right. Okay. Checking connection. Okay. Uh, not that. Okay, so we're going to blow out these last two sections using the tension method. And yes, she is 100% natural. This is all her hair. Thank you. I don't come on IG very often. That's why a lot of people don't see me on IG. All right, so last section. In the meantime, I'm going to be using my Babyliss Prima because she has much longer hair. That's a 
a baby with three months. over here so you can see there we go loose curls on her hair so we're going to use some of our frizz tamer and shine serum about that much that much rub it up really good this is also going to serve as a heat protectant and a little goes a long way
right. So I'm going to split her hair like this just to keep some out of the way until we get to that section. Same thing with this one. Okay. Took my answer for me. So I'm using the Babyless Prima. My sections are about a quarter of an inch. And I'm doing diagonal partings. Because I'm going to go back and curl her anyway. I don't need her hair to be dead bone straight. I just need it to be straight enough for me to be able to trim her and then go back and give her some really big curls. So this is where we are right now. So you guys can see versus where we started. Nice and silky. This part actually won't take me as long. Actually, none of it takes me that long. So far, that's where we are. Nice and light. Even though we did the scalp treatment to her for her buildup or her dandruff, it's not heavy. That's what you don't want. You don't want the hair to be heavy. You want it to be nice and light. Of course, the larger the section, the slower you have to go. But you cover more ground. So you do whichever works best for you. I wouldn't recommend doing her hair in small sections. It's kind of like redundant. You can do it in a larger section with a larger, heavier iron and get the same result. And she has fine textured hair at the same time. So small sections aren't really needed.
wish I could play music, but YouTube and Instagram ain't gonna help me. Really? Yeah, you can't play music. They love to get you for copywriting. Oh, wow. All right, guys. So the back is complete. Nice and light and airy. That's what we want. All right, so let's go ahead and split the front. Same concept, diagonal parting. So we'll do the hairline last. type of flat iron am I using? They do this Prima. So if you guys notice, I'm doing large sections and I'm still getting a nice silky finish. So we're going to do her hairline real quick. Hairline nice and silky. Look at that. Trim. Good answer. She got, she tried to do it herself. Okay. Yeah. I just gave her the okie doke. <laughs> okay. How did that work out? Um, I mean, it looks like it was, you know. You just did a nice blunt piece at the end. Yeah. Well, I put it like down the middle, and so I had the two sides, and so I just. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But we're not gonna do that any longer. Okay. Yeah. I had just took out some um. Some lot. It was tangled. Yeah, and oh, so when you get from here, here's the part that you cut off. Yeah, <laughs> it always happens. It's always you know I was taking out a sew in. I was taking out some braids. No, <laughs> and you might see a little for a short piece. That's because I, I wasn't paying attention and I cut it off. I totally did. Everybody's done it. I've done it too. Don't feel bad. Look at that. Send me your car for me, Mama. I'll call you in a few. I'm sorry? Send me your car and I'll call you in a few. Okay. All right. Let's get this side. You're amazing. Thank you.
Do you have a product line? Yes, I do. If you click the link in my bio, you'll see all of our products. And every product that you've seen me use on our hair, from the shampoo, the conditioner, the hydration machine, all of those products are mine. Yes, this is her natural hair. So we're going to finish up the crown, trim her, and then give her some loose curls. And I'm going to use the same flat iron. I'm not going to change anything. Thank you, Essential Darkness. All right. Did she have long hair when you first... <laughs> no. <laughs> Ask her, does she want to share some of her hair with me? LOL. <laughs> so for all of you guys that are on the IG live, you should definitely join us on YouTube where we do a lot more lives than IG. I just said I would come on there today. Just being sporty. You know, being a little sporty. But typically I'm on YouTube live. Side part or middle part? Side. side part. So we're going to do a side part. And if you guys like what you see on my YouTube family, please don't forget to thumbs up this live on my IG family. Put some hearts there for me, please. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, your night nurse. Because I'm best with natural hair. The best with natural hair, though. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to finish up this area here. YouTube is live. They have a YouTube live. If you go to Elite Hair Care USA on YouTube, you'll be able to join my YouTube family. All of my handles are the same on all platforms. Elite Hair Care USA. Maybe just a straightforward person. Some people can't handle that. <laughs> Some people can't. Anybody that knows me knows I do not go around the corner to say what I have to say. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. See? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Probably in 2021, I'll do the tours again. I'm not going to do any for the rest of this year, though. No. All right, so we're almost done. I'm just going to do a couple more pieces here in the front, and we're going to trim her. Trim her, curl her, and send her on her way for my next part. 
And then in regards to the products that we use, I'll go over the list again because I know everybody always asks me to say what products again. So for her shampoo, we did a cocktail using the Soothe Me Minty Shampoo and Moisture ELT Shampoo. The minty shampoo was for her scalp, where we also did a minty treatment to help get a lot of the dandruff off of her scalp. Um, that, that video is on YouTube as I'm doing it live. And then we did a cocktail with our conditioners using the minty conditioner and the moisture ELT conditioner. And we used our handheld hydration machine, which is one of our newest tools on the site now for pre-sale. And we did a hydration treatment for her at the same time. So now, wait, did I miss a whole section over here? I did. I missed an entire section. Hold on, let me finish this little section here. Took a second. So I'm not doing a haircut, I'm just doing the trim. I'm not going to use my cutting vest because it will be useless. Her hair is way longer than the cutting vest. So we're going to freehand it. But she trusts me to give her her trim because no one has given her a trim. So I'm not going to take her down to a box. <laughs> we're just going to do a cleaning up of the ends, kind of even her out wherever we can. And then go from there. All right. Sit up straight for me. Sit all the way up and then scoot your butt back. There we go. Feet down, phone down, arms under the chair and on the arm. Give myself some space. I need it. <laughs> Alright. So you guys get to what you want it to watch the turn because I don't have a comb. All right, so you get to watch the trim. Remember, whenever you're trimming the hair, you trim it in the shape of the head, which is almost like an orange. You do not trim the head in blocks, okay? So you're going to trim it just as though you were slicing an orange. Is it really uneven? Yes. So what I'm going to do, you guys probably won't get to see where I'm trimming it from. Because I have to go so high up. It's about almost an inch and a half to two inches. But it's no, straggly I, here. Yeah, it's at least two inches.
almost there. Majority of my work is stretching. <laughs> That's what happens when you're little people like myself. Stand up for me. I'm gonna come right here. Just like that. Yep. Turn just like that. Okay, we're all done. Sit down here. <laughs> all right, so she is all trimmed up. Hair nice and straight. Whew. Okay. There you go. Everybody can see? All right, good. So we're going to give her some really good curls. I'll show you guys how we're going to do this. large section just like that and then pin it okay so that's all I did Back 
for you. If you're not comfortable using the flat iron, which it has to have some sort of bevel on it, and you can use a big barrel curling iron too. I just, I hate taking out extra tools if I don't need I can achieve the same look with a flat iron. Is it easier to do shorter hair or longer hair? Depends on the situation. I mean, for me, of course, shorter hair is going to always be easier, but it's less work. But true. Oh, I don't, know. I don't really have a preference. Honestly, if it's too short, it doesn't work for me. And if it's too long, you work harder. So it's mm -hmm. one and the same. Like Most stylists don't want to mess with long natural hair because yeah. it's a lot of work. But I'm used to it. I don't turn down any type of hair. I've yet to be defeated by anyone's hair well, to say that I won't do it. That's awesome. When I was younger, well, it was only a guy that did me and my mom's hair when um when I was a little. So um, they didn't do my hair until I came off to college. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. And then other people because they was like, well, you know. It's going to take me so long. Exactly. Don't even worry about it. It's okay. All you're going to hear is, <sighs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All you get is, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> all you're thinking is, okay, lady, just, just stop. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. 
I don't even have a preference. I prefer long or medium length. Extra mm -hmm. short hair is the one that takes me a long time. Because I have to really like go small space and then it's oh. very dense. So of course, medium, shoulder length. Anything past four inches is easy for me. For hmm. someone who doesn't do hair, it would think like the total opposite. No. Oh, there's way you know. This this is really a breeze for me. But you have to know how to handle the hair. Yeah. And that's the problem. It's the shampoo process and stuff that people get really caught up on. Mm. Because they know that it's hard to shampoo very long hair unless you have it like down pat. Yeah. Which for me, it's just take steps. Just take steps and you'll get it done. But you got here at what, 9.30? No, 10.30. 11.30, 12.30, two hours. That's almost two hours. Good. From start to finish, almost two hours. And that's with dryer time and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think we did good. She got here at 10.30. It's 12.25. We're almost done curling her. She's gotten her trim. She's gotten her wash. She got a hydration treatment. Yeah. We cleansed her scalp first, which was a pre-cleanse. So we did good. And she's still out of here before 1 o'clock. Without the... <laughs> <sighs> just, just sit over there for a second. Let me take a break. <laughs> I almost tired. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. A lot of people will do that a lot, so yeah. Alright, so we got two more pieces. And then we'll pull down our curls here. And then she's good to go. The curls would be more like a deep wave, that's or a body wave for her length. One time I tried to do to, um, do those really like tight curls. Hmm. <laughs> did it? What I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out, did it? No, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Like I want my hair tight like that. Girl style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you learned your lesson then. Yeah. <laughs> did not work out. So we're gonna do our last piece here. And then when you're doing your curls, you just want to make sure that you go really, really slow. Especially because you are using a flat iron. But if you're not used to the flat iron and you don't have the right type of flat iron, then I would suggest you do this with a curling iron, which is, I hate curling irons. I don't know why. For these two here in the front, I'm going to let air dry slightly. It cool down really quick. So what I'm gonna do is use the diffuser on low with cool air. Uh oh. Yeah. I just wanted it to cool it down really quickly. And then in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and remove the pins from all the ones that we did first. I'll turn her so you guys can see. Do you guys see the nice coil? coils
Yep, nice and shiny. And we're going to spray a little bit of goddess polish, take care of her hairline really quick. I'm not going to put too much under control on her hairline, just like a little dab. So I'm going to use my paddle brush because we just wanted it to be nice and loose, okay? These curls are going to just go pew, pew, pew. So the goal is to just make her hair have some movement of its own, looking like a natural flow. So I'm going to turn you guys this way so you can see, and then I'll turn you guys this way so you can see. And then come on over here for me. Shake it for me. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Okay. <laughs> all right, you guys. So she is all done. So when she goes home, then she can go ahead and wrap it. She can do whatever she like to it. From, are you going? You going back on the road? I'm going. I'm going to take it from Okay. So you want to keep it down, or you want me to um, put it in a bun? Uh, I'm keep it down okay. All right. So she's gonna keep it down. You're definitely working in your calling. Thank you. Hey, client. Pick me up at the foot of the bridge. <laughs> All right, you guys, you can turn around so they can see the rest. So you guys can see all her hair. Oh, you can see for yourself. <laughs> you can see your own hair. Oh, that's so nice. Good? Oh, yeah. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, IG. All right, my YouTube fam, she is all done birthday hair ready. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.